friends this is a new video lecture series which i have already created a playlist in my youtube channel if you haven't subscribed please subscribe my channel this playlist is called organic name reactions and today i'm going to discuss ellen robinson condensation so if you are a natural product chemist you must watch this video till the very end because this core functional group which is flavones or isoflavones are a key integral part of natural product compounds and you should know their synthetic methods and this is one of the most important method for synthesizing flavones or isoflavones and that is Ellen Robinson condensation in this method we are going to prepare flavones or isoflavones by condensation of orthohydroxyl ketones with anhydrides of aromatic acids and their sodium salts so this is orthohydroxyl ketone this is ketone and this is hydroxyl group or OH group at the ortho position and this is anhydride so this R prime could be anything like cyclic or long chain of carbons or anything and pH this is phenyl and this reaction takes place in the presence of a base triethyl amine and a heated you get the product now let's have a look at the mechanism of this reaction in order to save the time and make the video shorter what I have done I have already made a slide I have already drawn the structures of mechanism and reaction on this camera slide so that I can save your time and do not make the video boring and draw structures again and again this makes the video too long and boring as well so to avoid these situations I have already drawn these structures I am just going to explain now so this hydroxyl group and this is a ketone these are the two key parts for reaction and this position is called alpha position or alpha hydrogen or alpha carbon this is an enolizable position or this is an enolizable protons so what it does is when base protect, uh, picks proton from this position there is a negative charge comes into play and this is happened enol formation so double bond in a hydroxyl group and now this base picks proton from this hydroxyl and this negative charge goes back into carbon uh, oxygen bond and makes it carbon double bond oxygen and this double bond acts as a nucleophilic character and attacks on the carbonyl carbon of the anhydride group and this oxygen goes towards a uh, disc bond goes towards oxygen and this is called acylation the addition of acyl group so this is the acyl group which i have circled this one now what happens next is this negative charge goes back into to make a carbon double one oxygen and this acyl group leaves now this is a migration or this is a leaving group acyl group in this case now you have made the ketone functional group another one now you have a one two three diketone functional groups now this SL group again picks proton from the alpha position and this makes it an enol. This is an in and all again similar situation. Now what happens is this bond reverts back and this oxygen attacks on the carbonyl of ketone and this bond breaks in the favor of oxygen and oxygen carries a negative charge and there is a bond formation between this carbon and this oxygen. So you have a six member cyclic ring, heterocyclic ring I should say and in the next step again this SL picks, picks proton from this and this bond goes to make carbon double bond oxygen bond and this bond shifts towards this carbon and OH group leaves this is called dehydration step or elimination step and you get your desired product so this was the reaction uh, and mechanism of this Allen Robinson condensation now lastly I will discuss uh, the key point that this reaction is very useful uh, in terms of research or if you are doing a PhD research or master's research you can use this reaction and publish in some quality journals like Journal of Medicinal Chemistry, Australian Journal of Chemistry or again Journal of Medicinal Chemistry. This is some literature which shows that this reaction has been used to make number of derivatives, number of com compounds and those uh, derivatives or compounds have been published in these journals. If you have any questions or any suggestions put your comments below. See you with the next video. Bye.